Hello, I'm Andy and welcome to Vectra News, your fill of gaming news for the week of the 9th of August 2014. Coming up in this week's episode, Twitch TV partners with an audio recognition service and its parent service Justin TV closes, Evolve is delayed until 2015, Sony ditches PlayStation Mobile for Android devices, and the Bioshock tease is revealed. Twitch announced this week that from the 6th of August 2014, they had partnered with Audio Magic, an automated content recognition service that will scan all past and future VODs for music owned or controlled by clients of Audio Magic, which includes in game and ambient music. If the system finds anything on its database, the affected portion of the VOD will be muted and this will be done in 30 minute blocks. So even if one second of match content is flagged, the whole 30 minute section will be muted. This will not, however, apply to live services. The system is similar to the one that YouTube currently uses, which is far from perfect. Even Twitch's blog said that the audio recognition could not be 100% accurate, which was proved when the 18th of July's episode of Twitch Weekly was copyright flagged and muted for 30 minutes. Twitch have also said that they would stop people from storing VODs for more than 6 months on their service, and that is only if you're a partner or a Turbo subscriber. Anyone that's not those two will be able to store it for less time. Although this won't affect popular YouTubers who upload their highlights from their stream straight to YouTube, streamers that just use Twitch by its own will be hit. This does seem like a very strange move from Twitch, especially if Google is still planning to buy them out when they own YouTube, one of the biggest online video catalogues on the internet. The CEO of Twitch, Emmett Shear, held an AMA on Reddit the day after this announcement when he admitted they screwed up with the policy announcement. During this, Shear also said, We have absolutely no intention of running any audio recognition against live video, period. To which one person replied, I'm going to screenshot this, print it out, and mail it to your office once a week for a year when you start running audio recognition against live video. He also mentioned that if people thought that their video had been flagged in error, they could email feedback at twitch.tv. However, I'm very dubious that his claim of only finding 13 muted VODs is a bit off. Users of Twitch weren't the only ones to be disappointed this week, as users of its parent service, Justin TV, were also disappointed after it shut down after seven years' service. Users of Justin TV are advised to transfer their accounts to Twitch by the 5th of September, although Twitch users can still only stream video game and video game related content. As a result of these changes, one of Twitch's competitors, Hitbox, tweeted that they had an influx of new users to their service and even posted a blog article t- entitled Time to Switch. For those of you wanting to see the AMA, The link will be in the description below. Evolve, the upcoming shooter from Turtle Rock Studios, has been delayed until February 2015. Publisher 2K, who announced the delay, did not initially provide any reasons for this. However, Turtle Rock coined February as a favourable release window. In a later statement to Polygon, a 2K representative said, As stated on the Take-Two interactive evening call, 2K and Turtle Rock Studios are extending the development of Evolve by a few months to allow enough time to fully realise the vision for Evolve and meet our collective standards of the creative excellence. We are encouraged by the press reaction and fan excitement coming out of a very successful E3 and we are now certain we are headed in the right direction with the game and we are confident in delivering a genre-defining product when Evolve launches on February 10th, 2015. The game was originally planned for release on the 21st of October 2014 and it comes at the same time as a string of other high-profile game delays such as Battlefield Hardline, Dragon Age Inquisition, Batman Arkham Knight and Witcher 3. When the game does finally release, the DLC and beta will be heading to the Xbox One first. In its latest update, Sony will no longer be supporting Android devices for PlayStation Mobile. Sony released PlayStation Mobile in 2012 as a way of publishing games on the PlayStation Vita without having to go through certification. It also allowed publication on PlayStation certified Android devices. This week, The Verge translated a statement by Sony saying that they couldn't guarantee all games will play correctly on devices running Android 4.4.3 and up. Additionally, users of this would not be able to access the store and Sony would not be giving any more devices PlayStation certified status. 
users still wanting to use the service will have to be running Android devices with 4.4.2 or below. Sony are now actively encouraging PlayStation Mobile devs to focus on the Vita instead. In the spawn point last week, we were joined by that KS kid and asked the question, is the PS Vita doomed? With this latest move pushing PlayStation Mobile developers towards the PlayStation Vita, this could be an indication that Sony is struggling with the PS Vita. If you've not already seen that episode of The Spawn Point, make sure to check it out. A couple of weeks ago, I mentioned 2K Games UK had teased something Bioshock. It turns out this was for an iOS port. Hooray! According to Eurogamer's hands-on, the visuals have been downgraded and the controls are a bit fiddly. I have to say I don't think it's the best game to be porting over to a mobile device. GameSpot also gave their first impressions where they pretty much said it needs to be played on a controller. I have to say if I wanted to play a game with a pad, I'll be doing so in my own house where I wouldn't be playing it on my iOS device, I'll be playing it on my PC instead. Sorry for anyone holding out on this teaser being the next big announcement in the series, it looks like the franchise may be as sunken as Rapture itself. But that's all from Vector News this week. Don't forget to like, favourite, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and check out vectornews.co.uk to keep up to date with everything on the network. And as always, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.